Hi guys, Munoz here. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick one. I'll show you how to easily uh, get an annual return submitted on the PACRA website. In case you are a PACRA user, you know that uh, they migrated their system to the ZAM portal system and it's been a bit of a mess. Anyway, so first things first, you need to go to the PACRA website. So because I don't know the business uh, ID. I'm just going to come here, online services, business search tool. And uh, here I'm going to type in the name of the business. Once I've entered the name, I'll search. Okay, so here I've gotten the, the name of the business. Uh, here's the business registration number. I'll simply copy it. Here under online services, I just click on business registration services and it redirects me. So here where I'm redirected, uh, there's a very another very, very simple hack. Ignore all this. Wherever you are di redirected to or log into, just simply come here to my workplace, click on my workplace. It then brings you to this portal here where you are going to have your services. It will tell you, hello, Mr. Molos, this is your personal workspace, workplace for government services. You simply scroll all the way down. So PACRA is number seven. It starts at number seven. So I just click on six and then I click on seven. So here we are, PACRA. So I'm coming to no change annual return. Then once you've clicked it and it's green here, you come on top here, apply for service, put in the business uh, ID or the business registration number. So once you've put the business registration number, the 12 digit one, click on query. It's then going to put the uh, complete the name of the business here, confirm if it's correct, then click on next. Then here it's going to give you the details of the business again, uh, the name of the business, the email address, phone number and all that stuff. You can then click on next. Okay, so once you're here, it's going to show you date of registration, financial year end, so click here where it says years. Once you do that, it's going to show you here that there's only one year that is being paid for. So that's okay. I'll click on that. Then I'll save, save and close. You'll find that uh, the year has been put here. I'll click on next. Then it's going to bring you to this payments portal. Now on the payments portal, there's a few things to note. One on online banking, if you click on it, there's only Zambia Industrial Commercial Bank, ZICB. There's Indo Zambia Bank and there's Atlas Mara. I'll just go back. If you're paying by debit or credit card, you can pay by Visa or MasterCard. I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm going to pay by mobile money. So here, mobile money, you've got Airtel money, MTN money, and Zamtel mobile money, Zamtel Kwacha. So I'm going to pay by Zamtel mobile money. Today is the first time I'm paying with Zamtel Kwacha. Okay, so what you're going to do is just put in your phone number. Once you've put in your phone number, click on pay. Then it's going to give a countdown. If I go on this phone, you'll see that it has given me this prompt to enter in my Zamtel PIN and confirm the transaction. Once I've entered my PIN, I'll click on send. All right, so thanks for entering the context. So I guess it's done now. And as you see here that uh, the transaction has been successful and the funds debited from my account. So when I come back to the government portal, you see here that it's showing as if I've, I've not yet paid. Do not close this window. Just simply click on retry, then it's going to, it's going to confirm that you have paid. So do not close and then go back. Just click on retry then it will automatically detect that you have paid. So I'm not doing a print, I'm not printing out a receipt. I'm not printing the receipt, I'll just go next. Okay, so um, I can download the printout, open it. You can just click on, all right, so here you go, the annual return has been sent. Annual return confirmation statement. If I scroll down, you see here that it's uh, actually been done on this 19th day of January, 2022 and it's basically done. So you can just click on download there to download it. I've got an, inter an internet download manager, so it, that's why I was doing that. For you, just click on download and you'll be able to get it. In case for whatever reason you have come out of that by mistake, you can simply go back to the home screen here and you can come here to complete it. Then you're going to see it here. This is uh, the one I've done, the annual return. You simply click on it. Then you can click on preview where it gives you the option to download it or print it. Or if you click on view case folder, it brings you here to the file where it's going to show the details on case info. If you click on documents, it's going to give you the printout. It's going to give you the receipt as well as the invoice. If you click on payments, it's going to give you the invoice. So, so basically that's how you get a annual return filed on the new PACRA system. I usually pay by MTN money. They have paid by Zamtel Kwacha. So basically those two work. I'm not too sure about Airtel. I have not yet made a payment using Airtel. So I've just said I've used MTN and Zamtel. Airtel, you can find out on your own. Let me know in the comment section if it has worked. Uh, card payment also does work as well as bank transfers from ZICB, Indozambia and Atlas Mara. Um, I don't have internet banking with any of those three banks. 
I do have an account with the Indo Zambia and Atlas Mara, but no internet bank. Anyway, guys, that is how you get your annual returns filed and submitted. I hope the video has been helpful. Do leave me a comment, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Molos, bye.